Good evening, everyone. In this video tonight, I'd like to read about Will you be together ever as romantic partners? So, if you'd like to have this reading, please think of a person or persons and choose a deck or decks. And take your time, please. Okay, are you ready? So let's have a look. Deck number one. Those who chose deck number one. This is Light and Shadow Tarot. So the question is, will you and the person you just thought of ever be together as romantic partners okay we have our three three cards Let's have a look. Okay. Well, um, well, we see here basically possible communications, you know, messages between you two, perhaps some sort of professional relationship that you had with this person and. We have death card. It means that your relationship right now is uh, sleeping. It's non-existing. Or it has changed in a way that is very different. Um, but in the future, there is a hope. Yeah, with the Prince of Cups. So it doesn't exactly say that you will be together. But it talks about a possible flirt, a possible... Um, you know, some sort of um, like meetings and uh, communications, you know, and possible feelings, the, uh, feelings that will be alive. Perhaps, um, you know, you're asking this question because you're doubting the current situation because it seems like nothing is going to happen. Uh, but nothing is, uh, this feeling might be because, you know, you don't talk to the person something that you had in common has finished. Like if you work together, someone left the job and you don't meet anymore or something like that. Okay, let's see. How will it be? How will the situation, what kind of opportunity, how to recognize the situation? How will he come or how will she come? How will it go? Okay, we see the work, and we see the work again. Okay, so it can be some sort of, um, you know, you meet them at a situation, at a work situation, professional situation, not through the friends and family, but most likely through some sort of papers, work, some offers, some money, some projects, you know, that sort of thing. And you most likely are going to be partners in that situation, like, um, you know, formal type of partners, yeah. It can be that you will be very diplomatic in that situation and you will kind of not show that much emotion, but, um, but I think feelings will be there. So... So basically, I think here, 
the situation might uh, stay unsolved forever with the two of swords and you know page of cups is just like a little bit of romance not nothing serious so let's see what is advice for you the sun of course positivity everything is fine just be happy and enjoy every moment with that person and it also can mean that basically everything is uh, going better than you think it is. Let's say you, you are doubting the relationship, you think the, you, the person doesn't like you. Uh, basically, sun means the fact that, you know, love is there, clarity, friendship, strong emotions, everything is nice. So I don't know why, but the card is, is saying to be positive about the situation and uh, about the fact that everything will be better than you think yeah with this person okay mm, but the other thing also it can mean a child for some people who have children, seriously, this can mean a child. Um, if um, we ask, will you be together, yeah? And Prince of Cups come out, it can be that you will not because of a child. You know that the child is playing a very important role, or a person has children, that sort of thing. And this card also can mean children. So there are two versions here, as we can see. One is a person with a child, and the other one, um, possible romance, or can be both even. Okay, so let's have a look at the deck number two now. This is our deck number two, the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg. The question is... Will you be together as romantic partners one day? Okay. Will you be together as romantic partners one day? Okay, we have seven of cups reverse. Okay, so I think, well, for me it seems that uh, the situation that you're in is a very wishful thinking type of situation. You're dreaming about that person and maybe the person doesn't even, you know, have a clue that... Uh, you know, that you're interested in them. <clears throat> or it can be that uh, you're imagining a love relationship in a situation where there is no a love relationship, yeah? So basically, you're in a dreaming mode. As we know, the Seven of Cups is dreams and fantasies and, you know, wanting to be with that other person. Can, can sometimes mean being in love and... You know, having a crush on somebody, things like that. <clears throat> and the Four of Swords, of course, talks about the fact that the person is not, uh, you know, answering to your feelings. There is no action going on. Uh, the situation is again sleeping. It's very similar to the Death card. And... Uh, and the Six of Cups, of course, <clears throat> is our, the most important card. It's telling us that... <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Um, that it might be that the whole uh, relationship is kind of in the past. That there was like a, like a spark in the past. And you had a very nice moment with that person. But it's been like a while ago. And um, in the future, well, it might show... You know, definitely much sure that person will come back and there will be love and, you know, things like that. But sometimes it can show that um, it will stay a memory, that there will be no action. 
So we'll ask some more cards about the Six of Cups. Is it really the past or is there a hope for a returning of this partner, of this person in your life? Yes, you know, it seems that there's a possibility of them actually coming back. The lover's card here, if you're patient enough, if you wait enough, there'll be an opportunity for you, you know, presented. Um, maybe, again, through some sort of project, through some sort of um, situation in life uh, that will unite you two, that will kind of bring you two together and you might end up together, yeah. So, what is advice for you here in this situation? Well, King of Cups. King of Cups usually, uh, for me, it means a person, almost always, and it talks about thinking about that person that you love, trusting that person, loving that person, and... Um, showing that this person is very important and basically don't forget them because you love them, right? that sort of thing can show about a vague situation, how to say, confused situation, you cannot, you don't know what they're feeling towards, you don't know where it is this going, there's lots of um, unknown type of, like, mysterious situation, yeah, it's like, there is this person in your life, it might be the person also with whom you work or do business, and it can be also the person with whom the relationship is very complicated in a way that you can't move on, but you can't be together also, something like that, like you're stuck in between. So it's more like, sh should I wait or should I not wait, you know, that sort of thing. It shows some sort of hope, of course, it's your choice, but... I think you might end up together here with the Six of Cups and the Lovers. Hmm. Okay, this was our reading number two. Let's move on to the reading number three. And this is our deck number three. This is Hermetic Tarot. Let's ask, will you guys end up together one day as romantic partners? Okay. Again, we have... Here we have again the situation where you might be looking for that person, you might have, uh, you might be having a friendship with that person, some sort of um, almost like foundation already between you and them. Of course, it can talk about the fact that again, it's. Um, you want to have a future with this person, you have hopes regarding this person, you're looking forward regarding this person, and can be that it's already more than just beginning. Uh, it's a, not a new relationship, it's uh, someone you know quite well. And of course it can be somebody from work, I'm gonna say that. Or someone having similar interests with you. Not romantic only, but also professional, let's say. 
And here we see the Seven of Pentacles as a card of like waiting and waiting and not sure and uh, will it be or not be, is it good or not good, like a little bit of like impatience and doubt and uh, uncertainty, uh, something like that, but also chose waiting. Yeah, like uh, maybe, uh, you know, you've grown your relationship to some level and now you're expecting for more. It can be that, uh, again, the relationship has stuck on a certain level, you know, in, in between of the ladder, and you're uh, expecting something for yourself, like back. Like, it's a sort of feeling when you send the email to somebody and you're waiting for the response. So, there's some sort of, like, waiting going on. And the King of Cups, of course, it shows uh, the person um, being staying as a romantic interest for you and also perhaps them having you as a romantic interest as well. But it doesn't really say that you will be together. So let's... Uh, Uh, um, have more clarification on that King of Cups. Okay. Again, we have the Queen of Swords. Usually this is like a, a rival in love card. Yeah, the Queen of Swords can mean... The person is involved with somebody. There is a rival that you're having. It can also mean that you have children or they have children. And it even can basically, because of this rival and because of that situation, possibly children, there will be some sort of, again, inaction, delays, do not happen, I think, here. Here can be also that you are putting barriers yourself regarding this person. Maybe um, it's coming from your side, this, um, like, a pause in action, you don't want to go forward with this relationship, you have second thoughts. And this can mean as well that either you have still feelings and still you're <clears throat> not acting upon your feelings or it can also realistically mean that there is a child involved in a situation. Like family, children, you know, that sort of thing. So no, I don't think you will be together here because we see other people involved and some sort of delays and unsure and being like thinking too long, avoiding this relationship, things like that. So what is advice for you here? Well, justice. Well, justice card often appears when there is, you know, a situation where you need to um, question whether it's right or wrong. So let's say if it's a third-party situation, often appears this card. Justice means think with your brain, be logical and think what is really right, what's the right thing to do here, and follow the, what's the right thing to do here, don't follow your heart here, yeah, that sort of thing, so yeah, in this situation, I think this can be a third party type of situation, and that's why it's saying that, no, you will not be together as romantic partners in the future, Okay, let's have a look at the deck number four. This is our deck number four. It's Medieval Scapinus Tarot. The question is, will you ever be together as romantic partners?
Let's have a look. Wow. Mm. So very interesting, very spiritual cards. So we have the High Priestess and the Pope, the Hierophant card, and the Ten of Wands. Well, here I think uh, now, in this situation, will you ever be together? I think it's again, it will be very difficult to be together. Uh, there can be different barriers, like, uh, you know, again, marriage can be in the way, somebody's marriage. Okay, my spiritual beliefs, uh, traditions, uh, cultures, um, different, you know, castes. If it's in India, it can be uh, a situation where spirituality is involved, like spiritual because of spirituality, you know, you cannot be together. And I feel like um, this is a very um, <clears throat> weird uh, situation I don't even want to say it like incest incest Pope has and Pope like a spiritually religiously like a taboo situation um and because of that, it's going to be very difficult to be together. Let's have a look at more cards. Because, of course, it can be a relationship is secret, feelings are secret, not revealed. Um, it's like falling in love with a teacher or falling in love with some older or a student, maybe falling in love with a student. Like a very... Um, a weird situation and uh, it's almost like a nun cannot marry a pope <laughs> you know what I mean that sort of thing so that's why I'm saying incest the feeling is like that but of course it's not like literally like I'm saying So yeah, it can be age difference, it can be class difference, you know, things like that. So let us, let's look at more cards. I explain this more, we want more information. Okay, so... We would definitely see, uh, like, this situation is a uh, very powerful situation, yeah? This relationship is like it's been brought up by destiny, by fate, and it can be uh, having uh, a lot bigger meaning, you know, than, let's say, other situations. Let's say you don't have a choice in this situation, 100%. Let's say you feel like you're like um, forceful in this situation. You have no power to resist here. It's like it's been you've been like brought up to the situation by circumstances, and it feels like you're just involved so much you cannot get out. And it's also showing that this might not um, bring you any joy. Also, like a like a love triangle, like a third party situation. Again, some sort of um, relating with groups of people. Like a uh, also like very scan scandalous situation, something like that. Like a group of people might be upset if you do this, if you be in a relationship with this person. So it seems that way, and you can't do anything about this, it's like a karma, you know, in this situation, and it doesn't even show that person, it just shows like a group of people, like this, like this situation doesn't care about you personally, and about that other person personally, it's basically like a game of some sort of group action, tradition, people, friends and relatives, some sort of organizations, I don't know, like, very weird. 
<clears throat> so what is advice here? Yeah, what is advice? Six of Swords. Well, Six of Swords, usually it's the card that means run. You know, run from this situation. It's not uh, perhaps a good situation. It's not a good relationship that you're asking about. And it's talking about the possibility of abandoning this type of uh, idea and this type of relationship. So it doesn't want you to be involved. Now, for me personally, this reading doesn't make any sense. And uh, I would appreciate if somebody uh, to whom it made any sense could write a comment so that we can have a look like what, what it really mean. Because I'm really intrigued now. Uh, maybe I said a total nonsense. Because, you know, how can this be in the 21st century, yeah? It's like arranged marriage, it's like marrying a cousin, something like that. And I'm not sure how can this really be. Like, I know in some countries it can be, but... Okay, so... Just one more question. Why? Why to run away? Five of Cups, because there will be disappointment and this situation will not lead to anywhere good and you will basically stay upset and sad about things if you get into this relationship, even if you are together with that person. It will not bring happiness. Okay. Okay. So this was our reading number four. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please comment and share your feedback. You know, how do you see these cards, what experiences you have or had, you know, or... So, um, have a great night. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.